was hitting it! I was hitting it! <laughs> they ate me. I was mashing Y though! Alrighty guys, welcome back to Jurassic Park the game, where we're going to be picking up here where we left off in episode 2, the Calvary. So yeah. Now, we quite literally left off here right before we started up this uh, roller coaster, so let's hit X here, and I'm pretty sure this is going to start it. Well, that's it. Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Hang on. This is going to be a short trip. Does this thing go any faster? Oh, there's dinos. Get ready to hit the controls. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, no. <laughs> Dino's got us. We're a minute in and we've already died. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got this. Hold up, I want to check something here, because I thought I turned music off in the settings. Okay, we're going to go for music off. Here it comes again! Okay, hold, you know what? Now that's too quiet. Sorry, I know, I should have this stuff ready to go before the episode, but now it's, yeah. I'm pretty sure this music's fine, it's just the actual, like, Jurassic Park theme that isn't. It's okay, sweetheart, we're safe now. Uh, get out now! The track is out. I... It didn't give me... Oh, there we go. I think actually that was supposed to happen. Jess, grab my hand. Nima, help us. That one did not give me anything. I was mashing Y. It's okay, sweetheart. I've got you. Wait. B popped up at some point? There's no time! I was mashing it! I could not! I could not mash it any faster! I could not! I used the crane! It's... Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. He 
you. <gasps> what now? Now, we go for a little ride. Please, don't say ride. Okay. So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Harry Sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh, yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Something ain't right. Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. It's you one twenty one, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Boy, your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Danny's, and it's jammed. So I'm guessing the pilot got got by something while he was while he was repairing. Yep, we got blood. There's his helmet too. Oscar. I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never. Decaf is M.I.A. 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 No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. What was that? Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team and... and, and, and... Billy! Is that the T-Rex? We are not leaving without Decaf. I mean, we agreed, right? Oh man, I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. Eddie's! We've got a situation here. Inside the chopper, now. Oscar, I've got no power. I'm on it. I don't know what I'm doing. Try it now. That battery's not responding. Try another one. It's getting closer. Did you see that, Oscar? I don't like when that happens. Pick up the pace. Do I got a timer? I take the other one out of the chopper first. Oh, it literally I like, oh yeah, no, you just gotta take this out. Let's go with B. I'm guessing it's gonna be Y that we need. The one in the middle. Look, we gotta get out of here, now. I know, I'm working on it. I'm not getting anything. Oscar, try priming the fuel pump. Oh, damn. That's what I needed to do. Try it now. Oh, oh, we got it. Woo, we got power. It's the T-Rex. Oh, here he comes. Here we go. Ah! Get us out of here, Billy. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, we got this. Yeah! 
I got a feeling decaf did not make it. You're a good little thief. You know how to open handcuffs? So who's left? Dr. Sorkin and her assistant. Then we get the hell out of here. What about decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? The gravestones are for the people who died beside him. The skulls are for the people who died because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... You know, I've seen Oscar knock out someone's teeth for a lot less. When I say teeth, I mean face. Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Oh, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in. My man is the driving company. with no hands oh, on the... Or fly yeah! <laughs> He's flying with no hands on the crazy. controls. Driving, this I don't know. what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Speaking of jokes, Oscar, tell the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see it all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo on my I'm ankle. I'm gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Quiet. Then we'll see hey. how proud you Listen, are of them. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Hey, he stopped that quick. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Oh, bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications who are you just your friendly neighborhood rescue team at your service man I'm Billy Yoder and this is look let's just get this out of the way I'm not going anywhere this part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the predators I'm perfectly safe and I don't need saving that's not a good idea ma'am but since you're here what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. God dang it, I got a feeling I gotta figure out how to convince her how to get in the helicopter. You heard the lady. Hey, can I help? Yeah, I'm not sure having you help is such a good idea. Uh, she needs you to carry boxes and stuff, not bring fugitives to justice. Let me help. All right, all right. Are you always such a pain in the ass? Not always. Sometimes I'm a total bitch. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Oh, yeah. Watch what happens if we don't find any food soon. I could probably get you some dino burgers. Seriously, I'm so turning the tables on the next dinosaur that tries to eat me. Not a good idea. 
So what, do I just quite literally Are have to grab serious? boxes? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me, if we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charm her. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. Literally trying to bum a cigarette. I'm not moving these things. They look like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, good. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? No one. Me neither. Hey, Oscar, was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s, lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. If you wanna tag along with us, that's cool. Just give Oscar his space. Doesn't do very good with kids, or adults, or animals. Come to think of it, doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. Are you gonna do any work around here? What are we, union now? <laughs> How the hell does Dr. Sorkin think we're gonna load all this crap into the chopper? Don't know, but you better do it if you wanna get on a good side. Ah, yeah. okay. Well, thanks, you've been a great help. Okay, I think I need to head over here right and here. talk to Sorkin. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. See if that's what's uh, next up. What should I do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. Do you know, he actually told me it doesn't matter that we have dinosaurs from the Jurassic and Triassic ages living together, as long as it's exciting. Moron. I'm interested in hearing more about her symptoms. Well, like I mentioned before, fever, swelling at the wound, her eyes were jittery. And she was delirious? Yeah, very much so. She seemed... Hey, you know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? Huh. You have a point. But okay. as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are going to need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If only the board had listened to my proposals. Instead, they just contribute to the paperwork and the file boxes you guys are loading. Okay. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. You know, if you're in some kind of Okay, I think we got to go back, see if Jess has found anything. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And Injen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? 
There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Okay, maybe... Maybe that's the info we need now I to mean, convince her to hop in. Thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. So that girl is your daughter? Yeah, my youngest, Jess. 14. You know, Doc, I saw some bites like that on one of my men back at the visitor center. Mr. Call me Billy. Mr. Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files like we discussed? Yes, ma'am. Come on. Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Dino preserve? Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board okay, of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but... I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder, but perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine oh, Dr. Hands. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back, along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally say. Let me give the solution to them to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Henry, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. Okay. Now, if oh, I remember, the lysine was mentioned in the here, second Harding, Jurassic Park despite movie. The circumstances, we've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? I don't know, but the Parasaurolophus do. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various Parasaur sounds that play through them. Okay. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The no. Parasaurs <laughs> will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. Nothing is ever safe on this island. Don't trust anyone. So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more, uh, amorous dinosaur. What about 
the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen. Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. Okay. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. Don't take this the wrong way, but isn't this kind of pointless? They're just gonna be eaten anyway, right? Some will, yes. But others will adapt, find places to inhabit, mate, and carry on the species. A much better fate than being massacred in this pen. But they can't mate. Dad said the dinosaurs on the island are all girls. Well, you can never be 100% sure about something like that. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side, okay. Okay. I think I'm supposed to be drawing them out, right? Dr. Harding? Yeah. East side speakers again. Okay. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Okay, now I think I need to do the food one. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where did you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in, and sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Dr. Okay, Harding? Now I think yeah. we have to activate the scare, the, was it? Activate the danger speakers. I think that should now scare them out of the pen. That's it. They're out. Good job, Jess. Finally. Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. Why is that one limping? Aww. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. 
I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. The Lysine. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not going to let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Just... Just let it happen. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? Ingen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. Okay, so what do I need to do? I'm telling you, man. Almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Apparently, I'm going back to these guys. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Go, go, go! When I get in there, come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. Oh, Mash Y, come on. Billy, quick fly! What the hell? No problem. You got this. Land this thing now! Not gonna happen. Did I just knock her out? I did. Pretty good? Uh, no. Not so good. Oh, damn. So I'd, uh... Ready? Yep. Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Oh, girl, 
Take it easy. What's wrong with that one? Oh no. Are those raptors? Raptors. Okay. I did not expect raptors today. I was mashing Y though. All right, round two. Mash, mash, mash. I was doing it. I don't know. I, I can't do this any faster than I am. Honestly, it's. I think the game is like. Third time is the charm. Oh, I think they gave me easy mode. Cause that like did it like it was nothing. What is wrong? I've been mashing the Y button. I cannot mash the Y button any harder. I am up to eight deaths in this series. I've hit two wrong buttons in a row. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we got this. I fumbled. I fumbled so hard. Guess the old man still has a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? They must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder! Here! We're down here! Oh, that's not good. Well, we're down a helicopter, but it also appears that we're at the end of the episode because we just completed the Calvary. So uh, when I get a chance here, I'm going to pause. But yeah, that is actually going to be it for this episode. So if at any time today you guys have found yourself enjoying this episode, please do remember to like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so the way you guys get notified when I post new videos. And yeah, I'll be back again tomorrow with episode three, The Depths. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.